Hey, good morning and happy World Hepatitis Day. Joshua Reeson from the Aboriginal Health Council here. I'd just like to take the time to um, promote a, a hepatitis resource that we've been working on at AXA in partnership with Hepatitis SA um, to raise awareness about Hepatitis C in particular. Um, and this resource will be used as a guideline uh, and have some talking points that Aboriginal health workers and practitioners can use um, to feel confident about talking to their clients and their community about hepatitis C, what it is, what it means, um, and how they can get help um, if, if they need to refer them on to uh, more specialist care um, to, to manage their hepatitis C or to even cure hepatitis C, because you can cure hepatitis C now um, and, you, and you don't have to live with it um, and it's not a life sentence. So um just just one thing to note as well is um and this is taken from the 2018 surveillance data from sa health is that the rates of um, hepatitis c and aboriginal and torres strait islander mob were five times more prevalent than in non-indigenous mobs so we've got five times the rate of hepatitis c uh in our communities so um let's just look at the resource here quickly so i'm just going to screen share um, this resource that we've been working on. So hopefully you guys can see this um, and we'll just talk about it a little bit more. Um, so I'll just share this here. So hopefully everyone's happy with this resource and the way it looks. Um, this has been done in consultation with, um, you know, the, the health services, the ARCHOs across the state um, and, the, and the guys that have responded, you know, your, your insight and feedback has been phenomenal um not to mention you know um we've had a lot of other reviewers look at this um viral have nurses and, and also uh, gps as well so when just looking at this chart um you will notice that it has steps one through to four and hopefully you know you can sit there with your with your client and just glance over at these if you sort of forget how you should be describing what hep c is or the management of hepatitis c um, you can just glance at this and just sort of have those um, talks with, um, you know, community mob while you're having your consultation. So looking at this, this resource, the title says it's Hep C in four, um, referring to the four steps that I just mentioned. So if we look at the first one, it says assess. So if you're sitting there with your client, um, you know, you want to sort of assess what it is holistically um, that this client may have been engaged with um, that could have put them at risk of hepatitis C exposure. So as, as it outlines, it has risk factors over there on the right-hand side. Um, and, you know, you talk to your client about, um, I guess, things like if they've been exposed to blood to blood. So that could be things like sharing needles or, you know, backyard tattoos, or if they've had blood transfusions, if they were um, ever to have a blood transfusion before 1990. Um, but again, it's up to you how you, you read your, um, your mm -hmm. clients when they come in for the consult um, and you'll know if they are someone that could be at risk in the community or known to be at risk at the community. So this could be a good time to, to talk about these risk factors with them, um, but also um, you know, in your patient information um, and communicate will we'll so give you a bit of a background story about if this person's ever been exposed or at risk. So. Um, again, just sort of something to be mindful of and hopefully prompts you guys to sort of, you know, talk about those things um, to clients um, about hepatitis C and if they've been at risk to um, any of those routes of transmission. So just going on to the second one. So inform. So inform your clients what happens next. So, um, you know, I think having reassurance about what it is that the test involves is really going to help. I guess, um, you know, the clients be very confident of, of um, you know, getting blood tests if they do end up getting blood tests. Um, again, reiterating those risk factors as well. This is why you need to do the blood test and this is the way the test needs to work. Um, and, to, and to talk about the hep hepatitis C cure. So that's a big one. I think, um, you know, when we talk about community not being informed about, um, you know, hepatitis C having a cure, that could be a big, I guess a big selling point in getting people in to get tested because then they don't freak out when it comes back with a positive result. Um, so that really helps instill confidence in our community mob. Um, looking at number three, so referring. So 
again, you know, once I, I guess the main the important part about this resource is, you know, going back to one and two is, is talking about the risk factors and informing what it is that you can do and how you can test um, your clients and community. And then it's up to the specialists to, um, you know, manage those clients through uh, the management of hepatitis C, the ongoing um, uptake of medications and where it is that they will need to go to seek specialist um, advice and consultation. So um, don't forget to refer to your GPs in house um, if you can do that, if you have the availability of GPs, but also um, taking advantage of those periodic visits from um, the liver specialist whenever they're there. So there is numbers attached next to that referral process in step three. Um, so, you know, just give those guys a call um, if you do have a client there and they're asking about um, you know, hepatitis in general. And if you if you don't know, that's fine. You have the numbers here and the supports and these nurses are excellent, they're friendly and they're readily available. Um, so that's what the number's there for. Um, also give myself a call or hepatitis SA. We'll, we'll be more than happy to be on the other end of that phone and just support you guys through talking to your clients about hepatitis C and what that looks like. And then last but not least is step four, which is the follow-up. So very important we lose a lot of um, clients to to follow up so they come in they get the consultation they get the test and we don't see them again so and this is where the damage happens when you know the the longevity of of um, hepatitis c will just you know scar the liver cirrhosis um, and the longer we leave it the worse it's going to get so um, just recalling and making sure you have those three monthly appointments um, after the first consultation um, and you know, chase up your clients as well. If they're not in, generate a recalls list um, and you know, cruise around and, and see if you can't pick them up from home, bring them back. Um, but also, you know, we do have the six week screen here at AXA as well. So we are available to come into communities um, during that, that six weeks, whenever it may be within the year. Um, and we can help you guys sort of talk about that and do community wide events as well. So having more exposure and the importance about follow-up talks is very important because it doesn't end there when the client comes into the service. It's about them coming back for treatment, medication, and having those uh, results come through just to see um, what that looks like for them as well. So um, hopefully um, that sort of covers what that resource is. If you'd like more information, just give myself a call on 8273-7200. Um, and I'll be more than happy to sort of just go through it and unpack it a lot more in great detail. But the whole idea is for this resource to be user friendly, um, for you guys to be, um, you know, just referring to this, you know, quickly, just looking at it at the corner of your eye and just for it to sort of um, give you those talking points um, about hepatitis C and what it is that you really need to talk about um, when um, referring to this chart to your clients. So um, hopefully that covers it. But um, again, you know, it's all about raising that hepatitis C awareness within our communities um, and just getting mob in because that's the most important thing, you know, getting them in um, and talking to them about these things. So again, um, you know, we appreciate the work that you guys do in community and um, without you, you know, none of this stuff can happen. So um, hopefully this is uh, useful to you guys um, and um, can't wait to see you again. So see ya. Thank you.